Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about functions, function notations, and equations. A function is a special kind of relation in which no two distinct ordered pairs have the same first element. So remember, it's a relation. No two distinct ordered pairs have the same first element. So therefore, if uh, we are given ordered pairs, okay, we need to check on their first element. Example, uh, let's say 1, 6, and then 2, 5. Okay, so these are ordered pairs. We have two ordered pairs here. We need to check on their first element. Dapat hindi magkapareho. So we have 1 here and we have 2 here. So they are not the same. Therefore, they uh, form a function. Okay, so it is a function. However, if we add another ordered pairs, and let's say we have 1, 4, notice that we have the same first element, which is 1 and 1. Therefore, this is not a function already. So in an equation in two variables, x and y, okay, equation ha, in two variables, x and y, the variable y may be expressed as f of x. Okay? It is read as f of x or a function of x. If every value of x corresponds to a single value of y. Okay? Remember this one. Lahat daw ng value ng x, isa-isang oh, value ng x, dapat single value lang ng y. Let's take for example these two ordered pairs. So if we have x here, the value of x, we have 1, 2. 1, 2. And for y, we have 1, 6. Okay? And then for 2, that is 5. So let's say, uh, in this example, one, 1 is mapped to 6, and then 2 is mapped to 5. So therefore, lahat ng value ng x, isang, isa lang ang partner nila sa values ng y. So ang 1 sa 6 lang, ang 2 sa 5 lang. Okay? But if we have this one, wherein 1 is also mapped to 4, then we can add here 4. In this case, 1 is also mapped to 4. So in this example, hindi na single value yung naka-assign kay 1. Okay? Dalawa na. So we have 6 and 4. So in this case, this is not a function of x. Okay? So, y is not a function of x anymore kasi na-violate niya yung dapat single value lang ng y. We also have what we call independent and dependent variables. The value that a function takes or the value that a function takes in is called the input. Okay? Kung ano ina-assign sa kanya, that's the input. Or the independent variable. While the corresponding value that it produces Okay, is the output or the dependent variable. So, if we have x and y, let's say x and y, kung ano yung ina-assign natin na value kay x, okay, yun ang magproproduce ng another value kay y. So, therefore, yung ina-assign natin, that would be the independent variable or the input and yung mapuproduce na value ng y, that would be the output or the dependent variable. Let's say we have the equation y equals x plus 1. If we assign a value to x, let's say 2. So if x is 2, then that would be 2 plus 1 and that becomes 3. So therefore, we can write, if x is 2, then y is 3. So, yung input natin, yung inassign nating number, that's the x, we call this input or the independent variable, which is x. And so, nagproduce siya ng value ng y. Okay? And which in this example is 3. So, therefore, yung x is the input and y is the output. Similarly, x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. Because values of y depends on the assigned values of x. Let's have another example. Assume that you are in a grocery store. Each grocery item has its own corresponding price. Okay. This is an example of a function wherein 
the independent variable is the grocery item, while the dependent variable is its price. There are many ways of writing functions. Example, there are different ways of writing y equals 2x plus 1. First is we can write it this way. So, meron tayong f of x. Remember class, this is read as f of x equals 2x plus 6. So, y is written as a function of x or f of x. So, therefore, yung y natin dito, take note, uh, pinalitan natin ng f of x. This is an equation class. Okay, this is an equation. This is also an equation wherein, wherein we use f of x to denote y. Because y is a function of x okay, in this equation. So again, this is read as f of x equals 2x plus 6. Another way of writing this function is by using this notation. Uh, this is read as um, x is mapped to 2x plus 6. So this arrow head, or this arrow, is read as is mapped to. Mapping ang tawag dito. Okay. Another way of writing this is using se uh, this colon. This colon is read as such that. Such that. So we read this as f such that x is mapped to 2x plus 6. Another way of writing is using uh, braces. So... The function f here is written as a set. Kapag ka mayroon tayong braces class, it denotes a set. Okay? So, this is read as f equals the set of, or f is the set of uh, the ordered pairs x, y. Then, this one, this uh, vertical line, is also read as such that. Okay? Just like uh, this colon, or the colon here. Such that y is equal to 2x plus 6. Okay, so take note class, ha? we say is equal to equals, pero hindi tayo, nag, uh, hindi tayo nagsasabing is equal, is equals to. No ha, is equal to, walang s yung equals. Or we can also say equals, so wala na yung s. Is equals, hindi is equal to. Then we also have piecewise function. Okay? Piecewise function is uh, a function composed of two or more expressions. So, hindi lang siya nag-iisang expression. In one function, posibleng merong dalawa, tatlo, apat na expressions for the different parts of the domain. Ang domain class, if you can still remember, these are the x values or values of x. Example ng piecewise function functions, piecewise function, we have g of x, so, uh, siya nga pala class, um, dito, usually f of x, no? pero pwede rin any letter dito. Okay? As long as uh, the variable that you use here inside are also the variables you used here in your uh, expressions dito sa right side ng equation. So, we have the function g of x equals, take note that we have three expressions here. Ang sabi, 3x if x is less than 0. So, ibig sabihin nito, if x is negative 1, wherein negative 1 is less than 0, so, ang g of x mo ay equals 3x. Okay? 3x. So, if your x is negative 1, that would be uh, g of negative 1, that is 3 times negative 1, and that is equal to negative 3. Okay? That's one uh, value of g of x. But ang sabi dito, g of x equals negative 1 if x equals 0. So, therefore, if x equals 0, then your g of x is equal to negative 1. Okay? g of 0 equals negative 1. Right? Then another expression, the third one, g of x equals x squared if x is greater than 0. So, if we have x equals 1, positive 1, that is greater than 0, so your g of x must be x squared. Okay? x squared. So, therefore, that's g of positive 1, that is 1 squared, and that is equal to 1. Alright? So, we now have three values 
for our g of x. Let's have this example. Consider an electric fan as a function machine. What do you think is the input, the function, and the output? Take it out. Pressing any button on the electric fan, assuming, assuming that it is plugged in into a power source, will cause the fan blade to spin. If you notice, most of the fans, electric fans, have usually three or four buttons. We have zero, one, two, and three. Okay? Depending on uh, the levels or the strength that uh, we want for uh, the electric fan. Ano? So, the buttons are the input, depending kung anong button ang ipipress mo. The spinning of the fan blade is the function, and the wind it gives off is the output. Okay, so if you press on 1, that's the input. Okay, so the spinning of the fan blade depends on uh, the input. Okay, so kung 1 lang siya, it's at minimum level. So yung... Ang spin ng fan, minimum lang din. So, the output, which is the wind that it gives off, will also be at minimum. Okay? So, hindi masyadong malakas. But if you press on 3, okay, that's the maximum. That's The input is maximum. So, the spinning of the fan blade, which is the function, oh, uh, mabilis din masyado. No? It's, it's going to be very strong. And so, the wind it gives off would also be at maximum, which is the output. So, the wind that it gives off depends on the buttons that you press. And the buttons are considered as the input. Alright? Another example. Consider the table of values below. Determine the input, the function, and the output. In this case class, we have the x values. Ito. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. These are our input. Okay? These are our input. And of course, the values of y depends on the values of x. And so, these are our output. And so, how do we determine the function? Okay. Notice that if the value of x is negative 2, ayan, the value of y is negative 4. If x is negative 1, the value of y is negative 2. And so, if it's 1, it's 2, it's if it's 2, it's 4. Notice that parang gi times 2 lang, di ba? Times 2 lang. So, by observing the pattern, note that each input is doubled after going through the function. Gi double lang siya, gi times 2 lang siya. And so, therefore, the function is y equals 2x. Ibig sabihin, you get the value of y by multiplying 2 to the value of x. So, negative 2 times 2. That's negative 4. Negative 1 times 2, that's negative 2. Uh, 0 times 2, that's 0. 1 uh, times 2, that is 2. 2 times 2, that is 4. Hence, the function is y equals 2x.